Today we'll be showing you how to build the Ellie chair. For the purposes of the build, we'll be using a flip leg, but they all build more or less the same. We'll be showing you how to attach the flip legs, and if you follow along as long as you need, at the end, we'll show you how to attach the footrest. With your Ellie static, you'll receive the chair itself and pre-made arms and legs and a bag of fixings. With the flip leg, you receive this with two flip legs and a connecting bar. And with the high back flip leg, you receive all of this, but with a more elevated back. With your Ellie high back kit, you will receive eight zinc bolts, two slightly longer zinc bolts. You'll need a 13 millimeter spanner and a black rubber mallet is useful, but not obligatory. With the flip leg and the high back flip leg, you'll receive an additional two bolts, which are wing nut and four stainless screws, which are torque drive and a torque drive bit. It's a good idea to build the furniture on a workbench or table. It's more easily accessible. Offer up the leg section and the first bolt to secure is at the back of the armrest into the back support. This will make it much easier to simply line up the other bolts. Once you've secured all of these, we recommend that you tap them in with a rubber mallet like this. This pinches them in place and makes it easier to secure them. Try to put the washers and the nuts on at the same time and do them up until they're finger tight. Once you've done this, finish them off with a spanner. It's important to note that you don't over tighten them as you will crush the wood quite easily. And then do the same process on the other side. Pepe Garden Furniture is pressure treated. This process can leave batten marks as you see here, but they weather in over time. We recommend that you use the furniture protector provided with every kit in half litre, one litre or two and a half litre tins, depending on the size of the item. This should be applied every two to three years, depending on exposure, evenly to the outside. Concentrate a little bit more on the end grains and the end of the legs for this darker finish. So there you have it. Your Ellie Static is now finished and ready to enjoy. If you've bought a flip leg or a high back flip leg, continue watching and I'll show you how to attach those parts. The flip leg is secured by using the wing nut bolts from the pack. And when fitting these, make sure that you have the pre-drilled holes facing the front of the chair. Tighten it up so it's finger tight again, but remember that this feature does need to be able to swing. Re repeat that process on the other side. Place the screws through the support bar so they slightly protrude and you can line them up with the pre-drilled holes in the legs. Again, please do try not to over tighten these screws as they will crush into the wood very easily, particularly with electrical screwdrivers. Same on each side. And now the flip leg is ready to operate and simply adjust the wing nut to secure it. Now I'm going to show you how to fit the steamer footrest. There we have it, the many options of the Ellie chair. Now all you need to do is sit back and relax.